Hey guys, how's it going? It is John from John's Little Guns here, and today, here with another video. This time, um, I'm not dead. Yeah, I'm not dead. Um, some of you hoped I was, but no, sorry to tell you, I'm not dead. Um, it's, it's a joke, obviously. Um, so, I'm back with a new video. Um, I haven't been really inspired to make any videos. I've making guns, not too much, though. I just made, like, a, a th about three guns since I've gone, which is, like, a month ago. Or something like a few good weeks. Sorry for that. Um, I haven't been really inspired to make videos, as I've said already. I made three guns. One of them is a gun that I'm going to review to you guys now. And two other guns that I was about to upload them. And then on my editing program, which uh, I just look if the files are good or not corrupted or anything. If I need to edit anything, I will just do that. Um, the files were corrupted, they just won't upload anywhere, they just won't load. So, sadly, um, rip a 94 video and rip MTAR21 video, because these are the guns that I made for you, for you guys, but I didn't get to upload the videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to this weapon, which is the... Um, ah, this gun is so long, how am I going to review this? Let me just pull this back a bit. The M4, eh, my god, stupid camera angle, oh god, let's hope it doesn't fall, oh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, okay, I'll try to review it from this stupid freaking, eh, I'm right, trying to review it like this, it's the M45, I don't have much choices but to show you guys this gun, in this way, because it's too long for it to fit from the the this side of the bed to to the wall. So I have much, I don't have much choices but to show you like this, like this. It's not a face reveal, don't worry. So the M forty eight five is a variant of the M forty sniper rifle made by Remington, which is the M forty. If I'm not wrong, it's the Remington seven hundred in advanced positions. And like future models and stuff. So yeah. Uh, I made the M48.5 from BF4. Because I'm an addict to that game. I just play all the time on my Xbox One. If you want to add me. I'll put the name down in the game, the gamer tag down in the description. If you have Battlefield 4 or Rainbow Six Siege. I'll be happy to play with you all. Um, yeah. Um, so the M45 includes much features as I could. Uh, yeah, so, first, first, the rear sight, the rear iron sight, the front iron sight, um, look down the sights, I just have to do it like this, something like this, I got a good view of it, sorry it's so messy, but it's like, I don't have much choices because this gun is too long. Um, we got the handle, which isn't the best. It's not too sturdy, really. I'm going to be honest with you. We got the stock with the butt pad right here, which is pretty comfortable. We got the cheek rest here, right here. We got the rest of the stock. We got the engravings and like slants and stuff. Um, we got the magazine, which is holds. Five rounds in the magazine and six in the and plus one in the chamber. Um, we got the tactile wheel, which is raised up with some slugs and bricks. We got the full length barrel all the way to the front, plus some uh, tactile rear for the front sights and stuff. Up to the muzzle brake, which is just supposed to be like one stripe of hole in there. We got this part of the anger, which is just engraves up. Um, and then they have this, you know, you can fit bipods here and whatever you want. Um, we got the more interesting part, which is the bolt. Which is, oh god. Ah, this is kind of disappointing that my belly It's not too good. Which, which is the bolt, which is one of the favorite parts of the, about any bolt action sniper rifle. Just to cock it back and it's like, so satisfying, so smooth for most of the guns. So yeah. Um. You just, um, pull it, like, you can see this, you can see this, um, you just pull it up, pull it back, and then the ejection port opens, 
Obviously you can like load it around if it was an actual gun. Then pull it back forward and knock it down. I love the way I built the bolt here. I'll just um they move it. Yeah, okay. So it's like it's built this way. Which is like a a tire like it's like a wheel without the tire. And we have this uh, trigger piece that I used to have on most of my guns, but now I just built brick triggers because I think I think they look better and they just function function better overall. Then we have a one by f uh, a one by four axle uh, connector right here, which goes through these one by one uh, um, axle screws, which just go on it, and then you just connect it to the bolt, and then you just use it like I mean. Yeah, this gun is pretty freaking long. It's like really long. Compared to the law, it's like oh god, oh boy. It's like really long. So uh yeah, it's like really fucking long. It's like one meter one point five meters long. It's like one and a half meters long. It might not look that big in the camera view, but like, you know, you know what I'm saying. It's pretty long. I'm tall myself, I'm one seven not foot, um, 1.76, meters high, so, like, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, I hope you're still active, that you didn't unsub, because, um, new videos are gonna come more lately, because I got more inspiration to make guns, and, uh, such, like, not guns, j just weapons in general, maybe, like, I'll, I'm thinking of making a knife for the next video, so, uh, yeah, Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Especially taking seven minutes every day, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.